Hi, I'm Leslie Durso, and I am here today with Miss Fiona Googleman. She is one of my best friends and favorite people in the entire universe. We've known each other forever, literally. 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 Too long to stay on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but she's an actress extraordinaire. You can see her on television and on the big screen. And she's a huge veggie burger fan. Not just any veggie burger, my veggie her burger. Her veggie burgers are incredible. <laughs> And I always ask her to make them whenever we hang out. And so now she's teaching me how to do it so I can make them for myself. Then I never have to see you ever again. I don't want to learn that. Just kidding. <laughs> but these burgers are seriously perfect for entertaining. They're great uh, for game day. We've got football Little season. Little sliders out of sliders. them. Sliders. Kids love making these. As you can see, Fiona is going to be my child in the video. And she's going to get her hands in there Makes and mash sense. them up. So. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait. Are you ready to start cooking? I'm ready to start cooking. Okay, let's do it. So what we need is a big bowl. And we've got two cans of black beans that we've rinsed off. We're gonna put them in the bowl. Fee, do you wanna put your gloves on? Heck yeah, I wanna put my gloves on. Because you could use a potato masher to mash these up, but why use a potato masher when you've got these two beautiful tools right here? So this is proving to be a challenge for me, you guys. This is not, <laughs> you I don't do this often. Then. I don't do it often. Okay, here we go. Have you ever played a doctor on TV? No, but I played a cop once in a movie and I had to I had to put these on and well, literally, literally it went better than that. It was actually worse. But that's okay. <laughs> okay, so Fiona's already dove in. Um, she's starting to mash the beans. We want to mash these about three quarters of the way through just so that they make a nice binding agent for the rest of our stuff that we're going to put in it. You could make these veggie burgers with all sorts of different flavors. Today we're using mushrooms, walnuts, and beets. Mm. But if you were interested in making a Greek burger, you could use garbanzo beans mm. and sun-dried tomatoes and, and purple onions. and You can change it up lots of different ways. I want to make Italian those. ones with tomatoes and basil. and That's looking really good, Fee. Yeah, this is, this is too much fun. <laughs> You're good with your hands. I'm really liking pushing up these. Well, wait till we get everything else in it. All right, really all right. Love it. All right. Okay, all right. so that's about three quarters of the way mashed, as you can see. Don't worry about cleaning your hands because you're just going to keep doing it. To that, we are going to add uh, about a cup of cooked brown rice. That's going to help with the binding as well. Do I just start mashing now or do I wait till everything's in there? Um, you, now, at this point, you don't want to like mash and squish, okay. but you want to stir and incorporate. Hold it in. Fold it in. And then we're gonna do some chopped uh, cremini mushrooms is what I use today. You could use oyster mushrooms, you could use portobello mushrooms, you could use anything that you want. Mushrooms are super magical because they pull the toxins out of your body, so they really help to prevent cancer. One Thank mushroom you. a day helps prevent breast cancer. They also have a great, they're a great source of uh, vitamin D, which is important for all of us to be getting. Okay, so to this, as we keep going, let's just browse right over that okay. cancer schmancer. We're going to add some oats. These are regular uh, old-fashioned oats, not quick oats, not minute oats. And we're going to put some in there. And then we're also going to do some chopped walnuts. Mm, good for your brain. Good for your brain. You need a lot of that. We also have one red beet that I've grated, just with a box grater, grated it down, and this is really why you want to be wearing gloves, because this stuff stains everything. So you'll be walking around like you got bloody hands if you don't if you don't use your gloves. And Leslie, why did you say we were adding the beets to the burger? Oh, because even vegans deserve a bloody burger, right? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so keep mashing, as you can see. Our burgers are coming together. Delicately mashed. We are gonna use a little flax egg that I made earlier, which is just ground flax seed. It's one tablespoon of flax seed and three tablespoons of water, and you let it sit for, for like 10 minutes, and it kind of congeals, and that's our egg replacer in this recipe. You just wanna make sure that everything is incorporated so that you're not getting any like giant chunk of beets or giant chunk of oats or anything like that. Wow, this looks so yummy. Yay! All right, well, it could be good as it is, but what we're gonna do now is add all of the seasonings. Mm. We're gonna do some smoked paprika. Because we're not doing these on the grill, I still want that smoky flavor. So smoked paprika will give that, and it's just, it's one of my favorite spices to use. Oh, I put it in everything. everything. Right away, Leslie. And then we're gonna do a little bit of cumin to give it a nice savory. Mm. 
and then we're gonna use some nutritional yeast. If you're not familiar with nutritional yeast, it's a byproduct of yeast, and it's the only vegan source of vitamin B12, which is definitely essential to get. So I love this stuff. It has kind of a nutty, cheesy flavor and um, smell. Can you smell that? Oh, amazing. Mm -hmm. I put it in everything. Whenever I so make like a cashew popcorn. cheese on popcorn, mm -hmm. so good. So we're gonna put some of this in there too to give it a nice rich flavor. And then we're gonna do a little bit of black pepper, a couple grinds. And we're gonna do a couple grinds of salt. I'm not gonna lie, this is a lot easier than I thought it would be. Right? The fact that everything was in its own place definitely helps, but you know, absolutely. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. It's not very hard. Mm -mm. Okay, so that's looking good. It's so what cool. you wanna make sure is when you're doing veggie burgers, you really wanna pack them nice and tight. Because they are just made out of vegetables, you wanna make sure that they're gonna stay together. We're gonna put them on our plate right here and um, get them ready. Look at how much bigger yours is than mine. Well, I'm hungry. You're hungry. All right, well, we'll make some big, we'll make some, I'll make them make some big fatties. So we're just finishing melting a little bit of coconut oil in our big pan that we're gonna fry our burgers in. Yummy. And we're gonna stick them in. Are you ready, Fee? I'm ready. I'm ready Here to we go. go. Into the coconut oil they go. I love cooking with coconut oil. It's such a great oil. We're gonna do this on like medium high. Okay, but the key for these burgers is you don't wanna flip them over a whole bunch of times. What you wanna do is just let them chill out in that oil and get a nice crust on them and then flip them once. Because if you keep flipping them back and forth, they'll fall apart. And if you want a burger that's broken. I do not want a broken burger. I do not want a broken burger. Nope. No nope. broken burger. Broken. Look at that sizzle. That's what we wanna see. All that beauty. Yes, yeah. it's all that oil is locking in that flavor and it's gonna make the beautiful crust on the burger. It's gonna be gorgeous and delicious. Now Leslie, are these- Now um, Fiona, are these veggie burgers, could you put them on a grill? After these veggie burgers, you could not put on a grill. Okay. Grill and veggie burgers are not friends. You know this if you've tried it at home already. Uh, the high heat and the hot um, grate just make the burger fall apart. Mm. I've made a little platter of yummy toppings to put on the burgers. We've got some delicious organic butter lettuce. We've got some tomatoes. We've got the Follow Your Heart Provolone, oh which God, you've never tried. I We've got wait. some raw onions and some caramelized onions and a little bit of my secret guac. Now I call it my secret guac because this is not a normal Mexican guacamole. This is a guacamole designed specifically for this burger. This guac is just smashed avocado, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of cumin. Now you think I'm crazy, but honestly, it's delicious. It's amazing, I had a little sneak bite of it. Okay, these guys are done. They've got a nice crust on the top and on the bottom. So we're gonna turn our heat off, pop them off, and get them into our burger buns. Ooh. See you in a sec. So our burgers are done. They're beautiful and crispy and perfectly cooked. And we're gonna slide them onto, we're using English muffins today because that's all the rage in the burger bars. So why not use it in right. our fishy burgers? And what are you gonna top yours with? Everything. These two. Okay. Holy cow, look at that burger. <laughs> I don't know if mouth know is big. gonna fit around this. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> I have a big mouth. Let's see, ready? Yes. Oh my god, it's so good. That's the burger. How did you, you did it so like daintily. What are you talking about? Blah, blah, blah. I'm still having it in my mouth. <laughs> mm. All right, so if you love this veggie burger, look below for the recipe for it. Now, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube page right over there, or over there, wherever the button is. And make sure you're following myself and Fiona on social media. Leslie Durso, Fiona Goobelbin. We love you lots. And um, I'm gonna keep macking on my burger. I'm still mm. chewing my first night. <laughs> Bye. Um. Happy dance. Happy, happy, hungry. Sorry, cooking dance. Cooking dance. <laughs> Fry. <laughs>